So the first cut, I'm gonna look for this joint right there. Sometimes it's open, sometimes it's not. This is the atlas bone and the bone trims right up and around here and hugs on the inside. So we'll cut right here. I'm gonna swing up and around. And then once it gets to the top of there, I'm gonna keep my knife right against that bone and hug that bone on the inside. So as I'm coming around that corner, that just releases the atlas bone out. The reason I take this one off first is because I want a straight line when I'm pulling this off. This has a lot of different curves and if you try and come straight off, it ends up catching. So that's just garbage. And then I'm gonna trim, or I'll cut a prep line on the inside right here, right up against the bone. This like dips up under and then comes out this side. So I'm just cutting up to where that piece is underneath. So I'll cut under here, staying right up against those bones. And then on this side, I'm gonna come through. Staying right up against those bones and not going very deep. So I'm doing this as a prep so that when I hang it up, everything will pull off a lot easier. So I'll pull those bones back and turn my knife up against the bones so I'm not damaging any meat. And cut right down. So now I have a cut prepped line all the way on this inside. Now I'll do the same thing on this back side. So I'll come up and around here. I can take this chain off to help me see where this line is. So from this rib, I'm gonna come up to here as it comes around. And then I'm gonna trim up under these ribs so turning my knife up against the ribs. Hugging those ribs all the way in. So now, I can take this off on the block or I can hang it up. So I'm gonna put this California hook, now that I've got it released, I'm gonna put it right up in there on that rib so I can hang it up. So now that I've got some weight on it, I can trim this right up against the ribs and then let gravity start to pull it off. And I'm just basically connecting the two prep lines that I did. So this is a way with it hanging, you can really get all your trim pieces out of these neck because it helps pull it out because of all the weight of the meat on there. And it's a lot less work than just cutting on the block.
So I took that atlas bone off so that I could just come right out the bottom. So that's how you bone that out. And then there's still a little bit of trim in here that you can go back and get. But as it's hanging up and you peel these off, you can get a lot more of that trim a lot faster.